Hey Jackson, how are you doing? It was a good day for me. Hey Jackie, thanks for the like. Thank you for the like, Jackson. Hey Dwayne, what's going on? Hey Josh, what's happening? Thanks for the share and the like, Jackie. Appreciate that. And Dwayne for the like as well. And Josh. Now today we're going to work on uh, the Shelby GT500 that I've been uh, sitting on for a while. It's a cool car. I've been kind of itching to build it. Hey, thanks for the Star Wars Josh. Appreciate that. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Isaac. Thank you for the like. Appreciate that. Welcome in. Yes, hashtag Josh. You have to go back to Morgantown to get a big eye. Jackson's been following for 141. Um, well, I'm not sure we could swap it. Uh, let me look into it and see if the, what's available for a swap for this car. Oh, well, we got a Cobra Jet 429 in it already. I think we might stay that. Stay with it. Oh, kick in the lift, huh? <laughs> Ooh, Jackie's been falling for 457. Nice. Let's see what I miss here. Josh is 446. Nice. Oh, you need a new eye because your eye socket is growing. Oh, wow. V8 Ford Cobra Jet 429. I bet you there's probably not going to be anything that's going to be too much more uh, high horsepower. Well, I don't know. Let's see. We got factory power is 335. So we're probably going to end up with about six or... 700 horsepower if we build this engine. Hmm, I'll have to look at that. We might build an engine for it. I was kind of thinking about doing uh, just a restoration on this one because of what it is. Although for the life of me, I can't figure out why it's got a blue paint job and a red interior. So it's probably not going to be blue. Unless I can change the interior to black, which I might. Because I like the blue. Oh, you got band-aids on your eye? Oh yeah, we're going to put all performance parts, whatever engine we put in here. It's definitely going to have performance parts. So... I guess we'll start tearing her down. I kind of like these wheels, but I think I'm going to go with the Shelby GT500 wheels because they do have uh, a replica that looks almost exactly like them. Blue and red, I don't know. I don't like the I don't like the red interior. It just doesn't seem like it goes with the blue. I mean I could build it that way, but I'd rather have something that goes better color wise with the blue.
Hey, thanks for the like, Larry and David. Yeah, this is going to be a cool car. I like it. Uh, Pat, I think, is uh, playing Fortnite with his wife. So he probably won't be in here this evening. Oh, it's not going bad. How are you doing, Larry? And thanks for the like, Michael. Yo, what's up, Laney? How's the weather up there? Is it still raining up there? Thank you for the like, by the way. Oh, you're playing cornhole and your eye popped out? Oh, wow. That's got to be freaky. That dried out down here this afternoon. I haven't looked out in the last hour or so, but I don't think it's raining down here. I did kind of want to ride motorcycle today, but not doing it in the rain. It's like being pelted with rocks. Plus my bike's at a point where it kind of needs a rear tire anyway, so it's not all that safe to ride it in the rain. It's been pouring since 4.30 up there? Hmm. I don't know, it could be raining here, I guess. I I don't think it is though, because normally I can hear it on the roof when it's when it's raining. Of course, I guess with my headphones, I'm not hearing shit. But the other night when it was raining real hard, I could hear it even with my headphones on. What the hell happened here? How did we end up at the back of the car? I probably should have put tires on it at the end of the year last year. I just didn't do it. It got covered up and... Nothing ever got done about it. But it's that time of year when I'm going to want to ride it a lot, so I need to get that done. dry all day uh, and you're in Kentucky you guys will probably get the rain that we've had the last few days well, now the weather pattern kind of tracks that direction from here
Yeah, you're in West Virginia. What's your weather like today? Was it nice there? Saturday and Sunday where you are? Was it supposed to be rainy down there on Saturday and Sunday? Calling for scattered showers? Oh, yeah. yeah. I've been looking forward to shorts weather, man. Even though it's been rainy here, it's still been nice enough to wear shorts, which is kind of nice. need to get rid of my farmer tan on my legs here. Let's see. No fuel tank in this car, so... Looks like nothing else to come out other than the gearbox and the engine. Your barbecue pulled pork was good, mac and mac salad and baked beans. Yeah, this sounds pretty good. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to see a pair of jeans until fall. Oh, no battery or fuse box or anything in there. All right. Guess all that stuff is just part of the body here. Okay. All the engine cover. All right. Oh yeah, I've eaten at Nordy's quite a few times. A lot of the time when I go to Walmart and deliver, I know I'm going to be there for an hour or two, so I'll hit Nordy's on the way over there and uh, eat while I'm waiting for them to uh, unload me. Nordy's is a bomb. I usually get one of their uh, like appetizer sampler things. Put an LS in it? No, not in this one. It's not even an option. Besides, it'd be like putting a coyote motor in a Camaro. Although... Coyote motor may be what we go with on this like, on this car, though. Well, 
I'll have to look at the options, see what's got the best horsepower. That's it as far as the body. Ah. once around and make sure there's nothing else that needs to come off of there. Oh, yep. Your clamshell. I think that's it. Hey, what's up, John? Thanks for the like, brother. Building us a Shelby Mustang tonight. All right, let's go see what we can fix here. Well, there ain't much to this engine. It looks like it might just be a bare block with a crank and a clutch. It's in there to crank. Carb supercharged. Well, that doesn't really have any more power than the Cobra Jet. Let's see. Put an LS1 in both of his classic Corvettes. Oh, yeah. LS1's a great engine. It just doesn't belong in a Ford. See, there's the Cobra Jet 370. V8 Boss 3D1. Coyote 437. Four twenty seven. I had a four twenty nine in it.
Yeah, I think we're going to build this coyote. Okay, so we're going to have to start us a parts list here. Since we're starting with nothing, we're going to have to buy a part at a time, really. It's all specialized. Can't use any of the parts I have in stock for this engine because I don't have any coyote parts. Hey, what's up, Norm? <laughs> oh, thanks a lot, Norm. I didn't see that whole comment. You bastard. So what's going on in your world tonight, Norm? was going to run some ATS tonight, but that didn't pan out. Had a convoy all set up and nobody showed, so I don't know what's up with that. So we'll do this instead. I'll be the Idaho Steelheads, huh? piston rings. We ain't put no 55% piston rings in this thing. Better get a fuck ton of these. We go through those. Western Conference Finals is going to be fish versus fish. <laughs> mm, sounds fishy. If it was lucky you sleep on the couch because she'd be like, really? <laughs> yeah. 
Let's see, do we have one of these? Nope. a regular we need a high performance I don't know what's high performance about an alternator but okay hey thanks for the like Jeff what's going on man See, we need to go to tune up parts. Engine head A. Oh. But we have to select the other one because I bet you it's a B. She don't like your fart problems. <laughs> hey, thanks for the like, Norm. some of those because we go through those a lot yeah that's what I thought need a B as well hey Anthony thank you for the like appreciate that and Pat as well. What's up, Pat? Thanks for the like. How's fork knife going? Did you rage quit yet? Keep it on the track tonight, no right turns. Yeah, I can't guarantee it. I'm more likely to go off the track when, when this thing's done to begin with, just because of the nature of how fast these things go. Oh, Pat Lee, by the way, uh, the, I don't know, I got a car that's got like 300 horsepower. For Somehow I got it to go up over 400 miles an hour. I'll, uh, I'll show you that here in a minute. I forgot about that. I forget which car it is. <laughs> uh, shit's about to get wild. I, yeah, I don't know. He was playing Fortnite at the same time, so I don't know how much would be in here, but... Camshafts, need four of those. Yeah, well, yeah I know. <laughs> we all know shit's going to get wild when Pat Lee is in here. Oh, did we get the power steering pump? I don't think we did. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, cool.
I don't know. Pat Thurston can get a bit lippy too. I don't know. It just depends on if he's feeling his oats. Actually, you can customize the garage. Um, there was there's a bunch of stuff you can do with that. I just chose what's in here now. I spent a good two hours customizing all of my buildings because you can customize all the buildings. To what kind of tile you got, and what kind of floor you got, and what's on the walls. Giggity giggity. <laughs> and take manifold. All right. Oh, crap. I forgot to get the camshaft caps. Crap, how many do we need? Let's see, eight, sixteen. Hey, Curtis, thanks for the share. Appreciate that. Yeah, the alerts aren't set up the way I want them, but at least they're giving me an audible. The way I know to... Who's, who's doing what here. It's still not going to read out your comments if you throw stars, though. Unfortunately. But I'm going to have to wait a couple of days for Dallas to help me do that probably something simple that I just need to press a button or something but I don't know what it is I'm not that computer savvy hey right, thanks for uh, doing the notify Curtis appreciate that uh, but live for 34 okay cool Need one of those. Need one of those. Hey, thanks for the like, Curtis and John. Let's see, cam gear. Cam gear B. Oh, I bet you the other. I wonder if the other side's got a different cam gear. Oh well, guess we'll have to find out in a minute here. What's going on, John? Thanks for the like, Pat, on your uh, gaming page. Appreciate that. And Marvin. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, you're still working on that skin. Haven't figured it out, huh? Okay. I 
I bet you those are the same, so we'll go with that. You're always halfway nuts. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Marvin? Still no work yet? Yeah? Uh, that sucks. Cam gear A. Okay, so we need another B as well. It's got to be frustrating. You've been working on that a long time. Let's see if we can get rid of that list. Fuel rails. Pantla still can't comment? Is it about that uh, Canadian comment? Is that still what's going on with that? I banned him good. I didn't have anything to do with that, man. I was nowhere near the scene. At least as far as you know. Just kidding. <laughs> Exclamation point, some bitch. Uh, no. Did not see it. Does it just hide in the comment or what? Or does it tell you you can't comment under that account? Good luck with that, man. Shit, when uh, my gaming page was blocked, I tried everything. I looked, tried Googling phone numbers. Couldn't get nothing. You just got to leave them an email and hope that they don't take two months to reply, which they did in my case.
I don't have a V8 water pump. Cover A. Is that one different? Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> Snail Linda's like everything else you own. I don't know where Rish is, man. I haven't been in contact with him. We're just going to have to wait until he pops back up. That's all I can tell you. None of the mods know where he's at. Everybody thinks we're keeping a big secret from him, but we just don't know. Must be in reverse with your manhood. <laughs> Oil cover. Oh, interesting. What am I missing on this side? How come it's not having me put coils on it? I like that. Yeah. Guess I could walk you guys around the shop and have give you a look at all the all the stuff, because there's, there's quite a bit of stuff on the walls, actually. That's alright, I already, uh, already answered the question, so we'll just let that go. I may have one of these. Yeah, I do. Okay, so what's missing over here? It's not letting us put the coils in. Why is that? Oh, I didn't put spark plugs in the side. That's why. Eh. Well, he's got one thing to call his own. It's a coffin that he built for himself. Well, cover A. That's it. I don't think there's anything else. Nope. Looks like 
looks like that's it. <laughs> yeah, it does. Alrighty, one coyote engine. Now go repair the rest of the parts and see what we can put back on here. What's the green car? Oh, I'll show you that in a minute. That'll be the next build. Oh man. Actually, I don't know why I'm bothering with the gearbox parts. Eighteen inch. What was that for? Oh, that was for the Duesenberg. Oh yeah, it was the Duesenberg that uh, that I got to go four hundred miles an hour. before I yeeted myself. All right, let's see what we can do with the body here.
Yeah, we don't need to fix those. Those were for the Duesenberger. Go outside. Yeah, there's the Duesenberger. I got this thing up to like 470. And it, it took a left and yeeted me off into space. This car is cool. We'll go run it down the track after we're done building the Mustang. Damn, I'm good. I even repaired the paint. Hey, Larry. Thanks for the like. Appreciate that. How's it going, man? Oh. Didn't fix that. Oh, that sucks. If it's under a certain percentage, you can't fix it. Let's see, get rid of the list. And thank you for the share, Larry. Oh, I didn't like that. Okay. that window never had a door never go full nomad <laughs> need a windshield because it didn't repair the windshield I'm sure I need that headlight because that was missing. I need car part two. No, we don't. Hey, thanks for the like, Dallas. Welcome in. Oh, gonna need that too. Let's go shopping. Oops. Hate it when I do that.
I don't need that. Wait a minute. Is that the wrong color interior? Yes. Some bitch. Hey, Bill. Thanks for the like. Fuck. Make sure this is right. Shelby. Okay, that is right. Okay. weird it should have taken me to the correct door I don't know why it didn't oh, I forgot to do the rush repair so we'll do that in a minute here. That's a hell of a welder, man. Restored the paint. 
So if we'd had the pat or the driver's door, we wouldn't have had to paint the car. <laughs> That's, that's not what I wanted. So, Pat, you know where Shelby America is? Is headquartered? Where is it? We need to make the correct license plate for it. Where was Carol Shelby from? Somebody's got to know. Yes, but where was Carol Shelby himself from? Do you know? That's a little bit of car history. He was a chicken farmer, but where was he from? Because that's where the original Shelby headquarters was, I'm pretty sure. Well, need some more of them. It's definitely not Las Vegas. Leesburg, Texas. Oh, we're in the wrong section here. Google it and see where the original Shelby headquarters was. Leesburg, Texas is correct. Oops. Oh well, we can use that.
Venice, California. Oh, okay. Then moved to Marina del Rey. Okay. starters huh. The headquarters was at Marina del Rey. Okay. Yeah. But there's yeah, it's cool that Tony works there. But since this is a 69, it would have been in California then. So it needs a California plate on it. He started building in Venice. So that would have been 66. That's when they uh, started uh, making the GT40 for uh, racing with Ferrari. A 69, they would have been in probably in Marina del Rey, I'm guessing. say uh does it say what year they moved to marina del rey of course i guess it doesn't matter they're both california yeah late 60s he started building the mustang yeah Break drums. What the hell? I just, didn't I buy him? Some bitch.
Got to build some shocks. Okay. We'll continue over here and work on the putting the rest of it together before we go over to the start building some shocks. One other thing you could Google is uh, what color California license plates were in 69. I'm thinking they were black, but they could have been the blue ones. these together. All right, Jackson. We'll be around for a little while. June 62, we moved to Marina Del Rey. wheels apart two twenty five seventy fifteen These are good wheels, I'll use them on something else, so I'll pull them apart. Because I can fix the wheels. Seven million dollars. Oh, shit. That's when they moved to Las Vegas, wasn't it?
Now we're going to go with a little bit wider tire on this. Oops, forgot to buy the wheels. Wheels at that's the ones. Ah, damn it. Oh, I have a 12 inch one that I don't need. Crap. <laughs> That's a sixty nine. It's a GT500. Oh. Okay, need to put front uh, struts on it.
She'd like to see hot pink? That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Sorry, Shannon. I've done a purple car, but no hot pink. We'll have to find the right car for you. Maybe we'll do a car for you and we'll paint it pink. Maybe a Volkswagen. Because they got VWs in here. Oh, it didn't fix the engine cover. Oh, that sucks. Sorry, I can't do that to a Shelby. Oh crap, I didn't put the upper control arm in there. Well, shit. Yeah, I might do the body in black. I like the blue paint, but it just doesn't go well with the red interior. I don't know why they would do something like that. It's kind of an odd color combination. for a radiator. Oh, I forgot to get the engine cover. Pressed the wrong button and erased it.
I'm gonna buy both. I'm gonna see how this one looks on there. Burgundy with a pink interior. No, but burgundy would be a good color to go with this uh, red interior, though. That's it. What's this? Oh, it's on the wall. <laughs> okay. Make sure there's no computer hiding anywhere. Looks like we're good. Oh, well, we need the interior parts too. Well, I say we could put a spoiler on there, but with the with the duck bill, I guess we wouldn't put one on there. Okay, so now we've got to fill all the fu fluid levels.
This is Pat Lee's favorite part right here. Put that dirty ass brake fluid in there. Power steering, coolant, washer fluid, oil, brake fluid. Should be good on that. Oh, need to put the engine cover on. Try that one, see what it looks like. No, yeah, doesn't look right. Yeah, weirdly, that's the only thing that you don't put in it. Guess where we're going, we don't need transmission fluid. paint it. Let's get it started up here. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Factory colors. Actually, that looks pretty damn good with that red interior.
think red with the white stripes. There we go. That looks good. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice. It added a roll bar with that, uh, with that rear window. So now, move it over to the wash bay and detail the interior. Just washed it. Okay, so now go align the front wheels here. Oh yeah, this car would have been turning left hard. Parts 99%. What's... What do we miss on the parts? Hey, thanks for the like, Eric. What's going on, man? Wow, oh, that rubber bushing in the front end. And the license plates. That's right. All right. No, I didn't do the tour of the shop yet. Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to tint the windows too. That's detailing. There we go. Dark, but not too dark. What's up, Jackson? Yeah, decided to go with red, because it goes with the interior better. Although I do like the blue, but... I just... I just didn't like it with the, with the red interior.
I didn't do black because we've done a number of black cars. if it's on the rear end. Well, we got rubber bushings. a hundred percent that one's a hundred percent that one's a hundred percent so is that one so it must be in the front end There we go, that one's 80%. That one's 80%. That one's 100. That one's 80%. So now, oh crap. What's up, dude? We're uh, building us a Mustang GT500. And thank you for the like, Chris. Oh, we need license plates. So who knows what color license plates were California in 69? Were they the black ones? Or were they the yellow with the black lettering? black with the yellow. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Black and yellow, yeah. Huh. 
Oh crap, I need to move all these letters over one. Oh, cool. Right on. I guess I can put the car in the ground. Don't need it up in the air to put a license plate on it. See where we're at. Parts ninety nine per cent. Hmm. What am I missing here? <laughs> Brake pads. What the? Next car should put Ohio plates on it. All right. Huh. A Lamborghini with Ohio plates because that's the Lamborghini's next. Okay. Brake pads. Well, that narrows it down. It can only be on the front because this has got drums on the rear. pads 100% okay Guess we'll buy a fuck ton of these and go through brake pads on every car, and they're all the same. Well, they have a Lamborghini for high speed chase. Here they've got a Dodge. Uh, Challenger uh, Hellcat Demon that they uh, that they seized from uh, a drug bust that they uh, did that with that they use for high speed chases.
So that'll be good. No tuning ECU and no carburetor. So you get what you get. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you're not out running a Lamborghini unless you've got a serious car. And then they're sending, a, then they're sending the helicopter after you. All right, let's see. Okay, baseline horsepower is 462, 422 pounds-feet of torque. So let's see what we get here. Eight hundred and fifty five horsepower, seven hundred and thirty eight pounds feet of torque. Woo that ought to be a fast some bitch. So now
Wow, the wheels look different. That's weird. Yeah, 243 is pretty respectable. Let's see. It seems to me like this car weighs like 4,500 pounds or something like that. Sixty nine and seventy were about the biggest Mustang ever got. Oh no, I guess it was wasn't that heavy. Thirty eight hundred pounds. That's still pretty heavy for a pony car. So what do you guys think she, she's worth? Yeah, it's uh, 3,849 pounds curb weight. Wow, I didn't even look at the mileage. It's got 200,000 miles on it, but basically it's brand new. The body's got that on it, but none of the other parts do. So what do you guys think it's worth? Keep in mind that it's just Shelby GT500. I don't know how rare they are, but they're fairly rare. Seventy grand, do you think? Uh, I think it's worth more than that. I would say it's probably north of 150. Uh, well, I don't think we're going to get 2.5 out of it. I think 100, my guess is 150 to 200 grand. Yeah, depending on the buyer's wallet, of course. Let's see, what's it worth? Ho ho ho! Two hundred and eighty-eight thousand dollars is what this car is worth. I paid fifty-four for it, so we're gonna profit two hundred thirty-three thousand dollars. Won't sell it just yet. It's not like we're broke. Got twenty-one million dollars. So we'll park this thing in the garage. Oh yeah, that's right. I was going to show you around the... Yeah, you pick all your interior colors and what's on the floor, like these tiles and the, and the grip floor there. Painted the buildings black. Pick the, pick the signage and everything. Norm, you still in here? We're doing the tour. Yeah, since this is the body shop, it's of course got 3M banner in here. Yeah, the Lamborghini I could believe would be 2.5. That McLaren was worth $18 million. And the Ferrari 250 that I did was worth $5 million. Okay, so in here, good good year, Hearst equipped. Now, there's not a whole lot in here. Oh, we got vintage Coca Cola sign up there. Fire, fire chicken on the wall. I don't know if that's. Yeah, that's a Boss 429 right there. 
370 Chevelle SS 454 up there. Now, depending on what you wanted, you could have put, could have had calendar girls all over the place, but I thought about that, but uh, didn't want to offend any of the women with that, so I didn't. What is this? This is a Dart Swinger 340. So basically I went with the hot rod shop theme in here. Yeah, you customize the floors and everything. You can even have it dirty in here if you want it. When you first get the shop, the floor is dirty. Uh, you can paint the lifts and everything. The doors. So we'll go out front here. That. This one, I think, is a GT350 up here. And, of course, a Dodge Charger. Only thing you can't change is this old tow truck. Old F250. Now, for a hot rod shop, we should have a nicer looking truck sitting out front. That'd be cool to do with, like, uh... That uh, 39 Ford, I think you can do a tow truck with it. Hmm. Yeah, we got a 39 Ford pickup also. Let's see. Oh, it's a 35. See, we got this one. I think you can do a tow truck body on it. They've got some, uh, I've got the Ford mod, so there's like a 56 Ford. We got a Gen 1 Bronco and Gen 2 Bronco. I think the the 56 Ford, you can even do like a big lifted monster truck kind of thing with it. You got to get the right truck to do it though. Because all these have a version. Like this is this is a resto mod version, so it's actually got a. Looks like it's got an LS engine in it. We'll do this one someday soon here, too. This whole list here is all the all the project cars we have waiting. Got a Ferrari, got an Aston Martin, got an Audi R8. This Delray Winchester is a, basically a, a boat tail Riviera. It's just an in-game car. This one I've been sitting on for a while too. I need to do this one. Although when I bought it, I saw, I saw that it was a vinyl top car. I thought I could change that, but I can't. So this one won't be worth what a, a non-vinyl top car would be worth. But so you can only, you, there's only a few stripes you can do with it because you know some of those got the stripes that go up 
from the rear wheel up over the top and back to the other rear wheel. You can't do those stripes with this car because it's got a vinyl top. This one will probably flip. Yeah, that one doesn't run. <laughs> I think it's missing a fuel pump or something. But we've got like four or five barns to go through. So there'll be all kinds of stuff to do here. But since I've got all those project cars, need to go through them. See how fast we can get this thing to go. This is the one I got up to 400 miles an hour. I don't know if it was a glitch because it was it was going a lot faster than this the first time I did it. Oh no, here we go. Bouncing off the rev, rev limiter. 350, 360, 370, 80, 90, 400, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500, 600, 700, and yeet. <laughs> I don't know what the final figure was. It was something like 768. And funny enough, this was, uh, this Duesenberg was a Bonneville salt flat version. That's why, uh, although I put the bumpers and the, and the full fenders on it because I thought it looked better. It only had like half fenders and no bumper and no headlights on it. But I thought it needed the bumpers and the fenders on it. It was just a cool looking car. Yeah, check out that engine. All that from an inline six cylinder. 769, yeah, I thought it was somewhere around there. The only car I've built that's been faster than that was that McLaren. I got it up to nine something before, it, before I yeeted myself. But yeah, here's here's the Lamborghini. 2010 Murcielago. 
I was thinking it was a Huracan, but it's not. You can get a Huracan, but this one's a Mercia Lago. Baseline 670 horsepower, so I'm thinking after performance mods, we're going to be somewhere around 12 or 1300 horsepower. Oh, yeah. I love an old dart, man. Never had one. I always wanted one. Yeah, hey, we're in the hole on this one. But we'll probably spend two or three hundred thousand dollars fixing it up, but. It should be worth somewhere between a half a million and a million dollars, I think, when it's done. Could be more than that, but I don't know for sure. But anyway, this will be the next project that goes out. You know, maybe we'll do that Ford after this one. We'll move this over to bay one. And we'll drop the Ford into bay two. Oops. I don't even know if this one runs yet. No oil in the engine, of course. So we won't know. funny how they come in pairs last couple of cars were brown put them both in the shop and washed them and realized they were both brown <laughs> except for the except for the mustang there was a oh what was it i forget now But anyway, two cars in a row were brown. Oh, yeah, it was the Mustang and the Mercedes. Both of them were brown. When I brought them in, they were that color brown. But they were dirty enough you couldn't even tell what color they were until I washed them off. Speaking of that, go wash this one real quick. see how it how it actually looks how good a shape it's in oh shit that's in pretty decent shape yeah the body looks good Yeah, body's at seventy seven percent, so that's that's pretty good. Forget what I pay for it. Paid thirty two grand for it. So anyway, those are the next two projects. 
Oh, whoops. Anyway, I think that's where we're going to leave it. Uh, we'll build a Lamborghini next time and maybe go looking around at the auction and salvage and maybe go run through a couple of bars and see what we can find. But it's 11 o'clock here, so it's time for me to get off. I'm sure it's late for you guys, too. Yeah, thanks for the GGs, Michael and Jackson. Take a look real quick and see if there's anyone to raid. I don't think there is, but we'll check it out. Nope, nobody I know. Alright, Norm, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, it's one o'clock. Yeah, it's time for everybody to go to bed. <laughs> I don't know if y'all go to work tomorrow, but I do. Alrighty. Like I always say, keep the shiny side up, rubber side down, and be kind to those around you. And stay fresh, cheese bags. Love you. And we will catch you all soon. Have a good night, guys. Oh, you're at work already, huh? <laughs> Alright, well, have a good evening. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.